Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel study all. Today in this video I am going to discuss the question paper of CTE 2019 December session. In this video I am going to discuss the question and answers of the CTP section of 2019 CTE second papers to second paper. So let's start the video. Number one, Noor forgot to bring her tiffin to school and asked Tanya to share her tiffin saying you should share your tiffin with me today because I shared my tiffin with you yesterday. According to Lawrence Colwax theory of moral development, Noor's statement represents dash orientation typical at dash stage. So according to Lawrence Colwax, the correct option will be for exchange and conventioning. Since Noor is asking Tanya to share her tiffin as because yesterday Noor shared her tiffin with her so this is exchange and conventional both of them are exchang exchanging their tiffin so exchange and conventional is the correct option question number two widely held beliefs about type typified characteristic demand deemed appropriate for different sexes in the society are referred to as so question number two is said widely held beliefs about typified characteristic deemed appropriate for different sexes in society are referred to as this is nothing but gender discrimination so question number one option number one is the correct option here question number third recently there have been conscious effort to include stories in curriculum where father is involved in household works and mother is doing adventurous adventure activities this move is important because because its correct option will be option two it aims to eliminate gender stereotyping to eliminate the gender stereotyping their duties are exchanged father is doing household activities and mother is doing adventure activities so both of them exchange their words so that they can eliminate the gender stere stereotyping from the curriculum question number four according to vygotsky when adult adjust the support to extend the child's current level of performance it is called it is called scaffolding when adult support to children it is called scaffolding according to Vygotsky. Fifth number question. According to Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development, hypothetical deductive reasoning develops during. Since hypothetical deductive reasoning, so its correct option will be formal operational stage. Option 4 is the correct option because hypothetically, a child can think hypothetically at the upper stage. So it should be formal operational stage. Six number question. According to Des, it is important to understand the social processes and influence of the cultural context on children's thinking. So, it is important to understand the social process and influence of the cultural context. That is socio-cultural theory. According to socio-cultural theory, so social cultural theory was given by Albert Bandura. So, correct option will be four. 7 number question drawing implication from Piaget's theory of cognitive development a teacher of grade 6 to 8 in his classroom should question number 7 the correct option will be B to represent problems that require reasoning based solutions 8 number question as per Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence what would be the characteristic of person with logical mathematical intelligence so it should be the correct answer should be option 4 sensitivity to the sensitivity to and capacity to detect patterns handle log chains and reasoning so since here logical mathematical intelligence is said so the correct option will be 4 9 number question 
the process by which children develop habit skills values and motives that make them responsible for productive member of society is called the correct option will be option a socialization through the socialization children develop habits skill values and motives that make them responsible productive member of the society 10 number question which of the following statement about the role of heredity and environment in human development is correct the correct option will be option d heredity and environment both influence human development in a complex interplay so this is very important question in every session of seated this question comes in different form 11 number question in a progressive classroom knowledge is constructed by the learners in a progressive classroom progressive classroom is learner centered so knowledge is constructed by the learner correct option will be option one 12 number question continuous and comprehensive evaluation includes the correct option will be for both formative and summative assessment using a wide variety of strategies so here both formative and summative assessment is included with wide variety of strategies so the appropriate option will be option 12 question number 13 let's see question number 13 a student in your class has been told again and again from different sources that people from his social group typically perform poorly in academics to reduce the impact of this stereotype and resultant stereotype threat a teacher initial step can be the correct option will be option <coughs> for presenting stories and example of role models from different social groups when teacher present example of role models from different social groups then their discrimination will be diminished and there will be no stereotype 14 number question in an inclusive classroom a teacher should in an inclusive classroom a teacher should believe that every child has a potential to learn as per their abilities and strength so in inclusive classroom different type of children different different type of children from different cultural background are included so a teacher should believe that every child has a potential to learn as per their abilities and strength for 15 number question a student shows the following signs signs in in the classroom anxiety around, around reading difficulty in recognizing words poor vocabulary skill difficulty with understanding or remember what was read these are the indication of this correct option will be option c a student with learning disability since these are the symptoms of a disability so the student is having learning disability 16 number question a teacher can address needs of especially level able learners in an inclusive classroom by the correct option will be four developing specific learning objectives based on analysis of each student's learning strength and weakness so when the teacher is aware of the strength and weakness of the student so he or she should <coughs> develop specific learning ob objectives and he should take appropriate strategies to teach the children 17 number question a teacher can encourage creative learning learners in her classroom by the correct option will be option three encouraging multiple perspective and appreciating original ideas when the teacher encourages the children's about multiple pers perspective and appreciating their real ideas real life ideas then <coughs> the children will be creative 18 number question which of the following factors supports meaningful learning in the classroom so correct option will be option d 
Option 4. Showing genuine interest in the content matter and having concern for children's overall well-being and learning. 19 number question. An example of effective problem-solving strategy is the correct option will be option 4. Means and analysis dividing the problems into number of subcodes. This is the example of problem solving strategy. 20 number question Which of the following is not an effective strategy for teaching learning? The correct option will be option 4 Focusing on reproduction of knowledge as given. 21 number question How can teacher deal with children who are non attentive in classroom? So, correct option will be option C. Talk to them and find the reason for their disinterest. When a teacher <coughs> talk to the non attentive students in the classroom and try to find out the reason why they, they are disinterested, then they should they can learn in the classroom. 22 number question Constructivist approach suggests that this is crucial for constructing knowledge. The correct option will be option 1. Prior knowledge of the learner is crucial for constructing knowledge. If a student don't know about previous subjects knowledge, then they, were, uh, they are unable to construct their knowledge. 23rd number question. Children construct Nave theories about various phenomena in this background a teacher should the option will be one challenge this conception of the children through dialogue <coughs> 24 number question the relationship between cognition and emotion is 24 number question the correct option will be option four bi-directional a dynamic interplay between both both are interconnected. 25th number question Which of the following factor factors affect learning? So, correct option will be option D. All interest of student, emotional health of the student, pedagogical strategies, social and cultural context of the student, all the factors affect the learning of the student. 26 number question days are an important aspect of the process of meaningful construction of knowledge the 26 number question the correct option will be option a social interaction are an important aspect of the process of meaningful construction of knowledge the correct option will be option one 27 number question when students repeatedly engage in an activity such as design and con conduct an experiment to learn and reward that is not directly related to the that activity such as earn a star or base they likely to the option will be correct option will be b enjoy learning for the sake of understanding 28 number question the concept of childhood is the correct option will be option a universally the same across the different cultural context childhood is same across different cultural context 29 number question which of the following characteristic which of the following characterize the period of middle childhood so correct option will be option c children begin to children begin to think logically but concretely this is this describe the middle childhood 13 number question and today's last question family and neighborhood are family and neighborhood so question number one. option number two is correct primary socializing agency Where, wherever their family and neighborhood are there the option will be primary socializing agency so for today's discuss we will discuss another paper in the next video thank you